Hello. In this video, I will talk about the integration of Vertica with DBT and show you an example of the technologies working together. The connection to Vertica is possible using the DBT Vertica Adapter. DBT Vertica Adapter is an open source project available in Vertica's GitHub repository. Some of the main features that you can benefit from are the incremental strategies snapshots and the Vertica's specific optimization parameters. Now I will walk you through an example using Vertica's sample database BMART. Before you begin, you must install Python and activate a virtual environment. To install the adapter, run pip install dbt vertica. This command installs dbt core and vertica python, so you don't need to install them beforehand. Once the adapter has been installed, the next step is to initialize the DVT project. In the location where you want to create the project, run the command DVT init. DVT init creates a skeleton project and a DVT profile file with the connection you provided. The profile file can be found inside the user's directory and the .dvt folder. To test the connection, go to the folder of your dvt project and execute dvt debug. Once all tests have passed, you are ready to start building your models. In this project, we transformed the raw data tables, states, vendors and store orders throughout a series of transformation steps to create the final model called vendor performance. We organize the models in three folders, the marts folder, reports folder and staging folder. The models in the staging folder are built as views and they standardize the columns names in the row tables. As we can see, the store orders staging model references the row table store orders and does a light transformation of the data in the in the row table. The models in the March folder are built as tables and apply business logic to transform the data in the staging models. The DIM vendors model creates the dimension table DIM vendors and joins the staging tables STG vendors and STG states to bring the vendors region column into the DIM vendors table. The FCT store orders model creates the fact table FCT store orders. It references the staging table stage store orders and applies business logic to calculate metrics such as the days to deliver, total order cost, quantity accuracy flag, on time delivery flag and perfect order flag. It also partitions the data by year on the date order column. Partitioning large fact tables in Vertica is a good practice to improve query performance. Now we can build the final model in the pipeline, which is the vendor performance model, which is located in the reports folder. It uses the dimension table and the fact table and applies business logic to calculate the vendor performance KPIs. These KPIs are the quantity accuracy rate, the on-time delivery rate, and the perfect order rate. In addition, table and projection data is segmented by hash and sorted on the column vendor key. If needed, you can turn the staging models into incremental models. This is a good practice when you are working with large tables. Incremental models will only process new or updated data instead of rebuilding the entire table with each run. This model uses the incremental strategy insert override to update the entire order's information with new data that arrives in the row, in the row table store orders. The insert override strategy deletes and inserts rows in the destination table based on partitions. The partition by a string is an expression to divide the destination table in partitions. The partitions param config parameter 
specify the partitions that, that will be dropped in the destination table and inserted from source. In this example, the destination table is divided into yearly partitions on the date order column. The partitions specified in the partitions config parameter are the same partitions specified in the where clause. Assuming the current year is 2023, we want to replace the 2023 and 2022 partitions. When we run this model, and you look at the, the compiled or the executed DDL, you will see that DBT uses a drop partition statement to delete all rows in the destination table for each partition specified in the where clause. In this example, the partitions correspond to all years of order date that are greater or equal to current year minus one. This means if current year is 2023, then the partitions to drop are 2023 and 2022. Then DVT uses an insert statement to insert the selected rows from source to destination. The selected rows from source are the rows that correspond to the partitions specified in the where clause. In this example, the rows inserted in the destination table are the rows for years 2023 and 2022. We build the solution with the DVT build command. This command will run and test all models in the project. Once you are happy with your transform data, you can use any tool of your preference to connect to Vertica and visualize the data in the tables generated by DBT. This is an example of a vendor performance dashboard we created using the BI tool Magellan by OpenText. You can download this project along with, with documentation from GitHub. You can find it inside the examples folder of the adapters repository. Thank you for watching.